It's my book, Ladies of Lust. And I wanted to talk a little teeny bit about that today. Good morning. And uh, finally, let people know that I have written one. It was truly a labor of love, lust, passion, sex. <laughs> But this one is my first one. I am about to finish my second one and hit publish under uh, Lulu self-publishing, print on demand. Um, what was my deadline? March 1st. So that one is a little bit more hot. This one is filled with stories from when I was still kind of a little bit shy, so you could imagine. I might seem rather uh, demure in most of my videos, but uh, hey, <laughs> sometimes I'm not. Uh, anywho, it was really uh, a labor of love and something uh, I really, really felt driven to do mostly all my life since I had the pleasure of being, gotta check the time, uh, a granddaughter of one of the, the most romantic grannies I have ever met, Maggie May Keel. And my mother, what is a good romantic, but she's still shy. At 78, mama is still shy, okay? So anyway, I had a great romantic brother. He would uh, do these elaborate things for girls, as I told you before, like he'd get a you know, a baker's dozen, and for those of you that don't know what that is, that's 13 instead of 12, of flowers, roses, okay? And he would get go and collect all these milk cartons. And he'd chop the tops off, fill it with um, cornmeal, easily set the flower down in there and fill all the way around the leaves so that they were perfectly in place. Now, mind you, this would take some time to do 13 roses like this, okay? So... In two weeks, they are dry. Yes, cornmeal dries out flowers. Not necessarily to make potpourri because the smell doesn't always stay, just so you know. Um, and he would gingerly empty them and get a long hat pin and pick all the cornmeal out. And he would, you know, put the fancy, you know, ro uh, rope, uh, lace on there and give it to the girl with a beautiful, a huge, he always picked big cards for some reason. Anyway, needless to say, I was raised by two really romantic people. Thank God. So therefore, I came out that way too, right? So, and my father, oh my God. I don't know him well. Well, he's on the other side now, so I'm learning him better now. We talk a lot more than when he had skin, believe it or not. <laughs> so, I was truly impressed with the passion and stuff that all four of my brothers, the sisters, they're not so romantic. If they are, I don't know, nothing about that. Uh, would give to these women in their lives and they're just so ooey gooey romantic and you know my father he's a touchy feely kind of guy yeah all the other ladies in the neighborhood told me my mother never had a bad thing to say about him by the way and so therefore I thank God that rubbed off on me so in doing <laughs> so in following suit my dear sweet little book only ten dollars by the way I don't make I think I make two dollars off of every book by the time I pay for binding and printing, which isn't bad. I'm not here to become a millionaire off my books. I just want you to go and download it for five bucks and read it. I'll put the link over there in the description to your right. And uh, it was really just a fun, wonderful thing to do and know that I could do it since I always believed myself to be a writer. And for those of you who don't know, there's a big, uh, I guess I can say, war going on between those who publish through an agent and those who don't. Well, Mr. Agent, I've been waiting on you for 15 years. Got tired of waiting. So all of you those out there who say, oh, you didn't do it right. Yeah, people really get mad at you. Like, oh, that's not, you're not published. That published is a third person. Well, let's see, there's me, the printer, and you. They bought it. Hey, there's three people. There you go, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> My mama got one. I got one. No, I, I've actually gotten a check, praise God. And it feels really good to accomplish a goal and see it through, you know? So, I, uh, I'm going to share my latest with you. Good morning. And uh, to let all you other people out there who attain to be a thing, 
be it and you will feel so so good when i you know went to lulu and i looked and checked in my site and everything and i'm like ah, five people downloaded my book it's five bucks people come on if you don't have five i'll give you the five bucks go download the book tell me what you think because uh, another reason for me making this blog is i want you to know for those of you who informed me that i had things uh misaligned in the poetry section I want you to know that I went back this past Saturday and corrected that so all you uh, Yahoo people that do uh, look at my videos and are on my list well not all 500 of you but a couple of you mentioned that uh, see my line was off here this shouldn't be here well that line sorry that line should not be there so I want you to know that I appreciate you and thank you for taking time to email me at ladylesswriter.com, only for book stuff, to tell me that my lining and I had a couple of words uh, misspelled. So it, it's really easy. It is so easy. How they say, if I can do it, anybody can do it, you can. It's really easy. You go back and you say revise and then I, don't, I didn't need to correct anything else, so I went forward, forward, save and continue, save and continue, save and continue, all the way to the end of the book. Open up the document, look for Alt-EF in Microsoft Word, uh, find this word, enter, backspace, backspace, backspace. I can't add any spaces because that might fuck up the lining, you know? So, and then I typed in the correct word and saved. Save, continue, save, continue, save, continue, print preview, save, continue publish that's it it took me I think 10 minutes to do that so thank you thank you thank you for letting me know that and for all you aspiring to be a thing just know that you are it with the very thought thoughts are things and you can do it too and I'm working on my uh, the second book will be published on March 1st the third book better be published by August 1st that's my goal. That's my goal. So <laughs> I am going to stop here because I'm at almost time, I think. This is me. Well, this isn't me. That's not my art. But thank God I have two other wonderful artists that did sketches for me for my next uh, two books. So thank you. Thank you. Be good to you. I got to go get the phone. Bye. <laughs>